Fed 3 camera was released in 1961. The Fed 3B was released in 1963, and they are both manufactured in Kharkov, Ukraine. So they corresponded from 63 to 79. That's when they stopped manufacturing them. Fed was named after one of the founders of the Soviet secret police, Felix and Mendovich Zerzinski, which um, starts with an F, middle name E, and last name D. So they named it the Fed uh, factory where they manufactured cameras, machinery, and uh, tanks. Okay, these photos were shot at Lin Sun Buddhist Temple in Warren, Michigan. Uh, they got a lot of the statues that are pretty interesting. It was a cold day. Uh, they're for a memorial service and decided to shoot the uh, statues and some of uh, the little goldfish koi that were swimming at the bottom of the frozen pond. Fed 3 camera is very affordable right now on eBay. You can get a really good model for under 50 bucks. Uh, yeah, you might have to uh, fix the shutter curtains. That's something that deteriorates because it's like a cloth. You, know, you can use uh, like fabric paint or any like acrylic paint and just give it a try, see how it works. I was surprised that my pictures turned out so well. I mean, at least pretty all right. Uh, given the fact that I did not have a uh, light meter on the camera or I didn't use my light meter on my phone because it didn't, I didn't feel like I knew how to use it that well. So I just went with the Sunny 16 rule that uh, I got from a book from my brother and I didn't think I followed it exactly. I kind of guesstimated what it would be, but I think that there's a lot of forgiveness in film. So that is very cool. As you can see that some of these pictures were before I had fixed the shutter curtain. So that was the first roll I ran through and not all of them turned out that well. A lot of them have like these star dust uh, <laughs> mistakes all through them, but it looks kind of cool, but I would, it would be great if I could control that. But since I can't really control that, it's, it's kind of something that had to go. So I repaired that later uh, using fabric markers or fabric paints on uh, the curtains. I think it got it pretty good, but uh, I think there's some stardust in the latest roll I ran through it. So the Fed 3 camera uh, is an improvement of the Fed 2 camera, which is more or less a direct copy off of a Leica, I think a Leica 2 or 3. And uh, the Fed 3B is when they add the lever on it for the, uh, the advanced lever instead of the advanced knob. So if you ever think you want to get a uh, vintage Leica, go ahead and try a vintage uh, Fed camera because it's going to be a lot more affordable. And I would recommend it over a current Leica because... Uh, I've seen how those people load those things and it looks stupid. Loading camera on the Fed 3B is not a problem. It's actually uh, pretty fun. And they got the little twisty levers things, but they don't have the little flip up thing where you gotta jam it in there. And it's like, no, it comes off. It's, it's really cool. Uh, yeah, no light meter, but yeah, it's fun. It's surprisingly fun. You'll, you'll, you'll do all right. Fed 3 camera usually come with a case similar to this. Sometimes it'll have the ring around the ear. And you don't feel too bad carrying it around. It's pretty durable. I mean, they're like 50, 60 years old almost. Just all done up. And like, boom, got the camera. It's got the, it comes with the N61, uh, 2.8, 52 millimeter. Take it out of here. Sometimes we'll shoot with this on. 
Boom. Red velvet lined. This will adjust. Let's see in there, but. So you crank it first and then you select your speed. Don't ever select your speed beforehand because uh, it can screw it up. So sunny day, over 250. Actually, you keep it pretty fast in a bright time like that. Just crank her. Boom. Took it already. <laughs> uh, made in USSR. All right, let's take this off. Um, I have any film in there right now, but. This is your winder. Yeah, anyways, you mess with those, take that off. Back. the paint and repair the stardust light leak but there's no light leaks here and I don't really see any like foam seals here it just fits and it, it's pretty cool These go for real cheap on eBay. It takes a long time to get here from where they usually come from. So they come from Ukraine usually pretty cheap, uh, but they get here eventually. And when you get them, no light meter on it. It does have a uh, cold shoe. You can plug in the wire for the uh, old school flash, which I will be showing you. It's got an excellent lens. It's 
capture ring is here. Focus up here. Only thing is, focus is cool, but sometimes it feels like it's going to take the whole freaking lens off. Great camera. So this is not going to be great focus because it's so close. I think it's a meter focus for this. You kind of get a you kind of get an idea. consider myself a photographer. I consider myself a photo enthusiast, camera enthusiast, uh, nostalgia take chaser. Uh, definitely not trained, kind of self-teaching, not self-taught yet. So much more to learn. Uh, I enjoy looking at other real photographers, YouTube channels. Uh, like I said, reading my analog photography book is slowly sinking in but yeah I like the fact that photography is very subjective so you can play the game of oh this is great oh this isn't this isn't great but it's all very personal so even when it comes to yourself you can like something and it might not be technically great and maybe somebody else looks at it like, oh, what is that? You know, but it's open for interpretation. And for you, it might be pretty good. You know, maybe you achieve something a little bit better than before. And hey, that's great. Or maybe you'll look back later and say, oh, that wasn't so great. But then another time, you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that. So that's the great thing of photography. And I think people should keep doing it. You know, uh, sometimes the cameras vary in quality. And sometimes it's good to have a lower quality. Sometimes it's good to just have a, a better quality. Uh, right now, I have a, what is it? I have a Google Pixel 8 Pro, and that's the best camera I have when it's on me. And it really does take great photos, uh, but it's not really challenging. Like the Fed 3B is, and the Fed 3B is challenging, but it's really fun because it's so hands-on and just righteous feelings. But at the same time, I can just capture a moment, and that's just fine. That's just fine with me. So, so just keep shooting, you know. If nobody else likes it, perfect. If you like it, hey, that's good, you know. And if you don't like it, hey, that's good too. Maybe someday you'll like it, or maybe sometime you'll be like, why was I doing that? But you got to keep doing stuff. I really feel like the Fed 3B could be one of those. Your only film cameras. You know, if you had to make just one, just have it. That could... That could do it for you. Of course, I probably couldn't do that, but I guess if I had to get rid of all of them, I'd be down to that'd be one of the few to keep. I've only shot two rolls with this, but it's like the pictures surprise me every time. <laughs> A lot of it's probably because, yeah, I'm not using a light meter and it might be a little over, a little under, which is cool for me. Also, the, the pictures with that lens, really classic to me. 
yeah, you want to be slowed down. This thing will definitely slow you down, but it's a very enjoyable experience. Um, I've only shot two rolls, two rolls of color Fuji 400 film. Not going to uh, continue shooting color film. It's getting too expensive. Where I go to develop it is like kind of a long ways away. So I don't want to have to pay for the gas, the time. So I've been thinking about giving up the film all together. Then I read a comment on one of the xenographies, uh, who's a great YouTuber. Uh, somebody said that film is just too expensive now. And, and, you know, it's not worth it, even though you get these cameras for a crazy deal. The YouTuber on Xenography, Xenography actually replied and said, that's true, but he's going to only be doing black and white film, which is more affordable. And I hear that it's easier to actually develop yourself. So over the next couple of months, I'm going to have to give that a shot. Uh, my son actually is developing film in, high, uh, in his high school course, and it's black and white. But they have like a full uh, dark room and all that stuff. But maybe I can replicate that at home because I, here it's a simpler pro process and the a little bit cheaper. Also, the black and white film is cheaper. So I'm going to give that a shot just because I really do enjoy shooting film. Also, I have old school digital uh, cameras that I need to get on top of more. So I'm going to do my color uh, with that try to replicate the look you know so till the near future or I'm only going to shoot black and white film uh, unless somehow the price of color film and processing comes down but yeah that's how I'm going to do it I'm going to try to shoot and process my own black and white film so I'll kind of miss the colors but that's going to help allow me to focus on trying to do that through digital. Uh, get those old school colors out of that. Uh, up my game a little bit. And another thing I got. So uh, I can shoot this indoors more. Let me open her up again. Yeah, I like this, but I only wish this would allow to come off so you could just hang around with it around your neck. For whatever reason, this does not come off. So that's the only bummer I have with this camera. But other than that, it just feels right. It feels righteous. Yeah, for indoor shooting, got this. Old school. Old school, uh... Flash Keiko Auto 2500S. Uh, so it can run on batteries or battery packs. It's probably from the 80s or 70s or something. But um, like I said, it's a cold shoe. But this has a uh, a cable that'll link to it. So that's cool. Uh, let me get this together. All right. Load in the batteries, check it out. camera All right PC sync cable you can see that 
there. All right. So remember, crank the thing, and then uh, that's when you set your shutter speed. I set it to 60, and uh, let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. Woo! Ha <laughs> Nice. And this is cool because I can change the angle here. Let's do it again. Boom! I like that. Alright. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hope I didn't screw my camera up doing that. mess with these with digital cameras because uh, they might screw it up. When I take the batteries out of this, that red light will still go on so they're still uh, holding and charging the capacitors and you get another flash out of it so it's kind of kind of powerful. So definitely looking forward to shooting this inside. Get some of those red carpet style photos with this flash. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, dig it. Yeah, all right. Bounce that flash. Fed 3B.